Hello guys, uh, welcome to another series of 2JZ Tuesday. My name is Michael Chung and today I'm going to share with you guys what is sequential ignition and what is wasted spark and why do you need them, alright? In my hands, I got this uh, sequential ignition coils. Okay, so this one, it can, this one, it has built-in igniter so it can fire spark to your, it can fire your spark plugs. Right individually, okay. So what I have on my two JZ now is the wasted spark configuration. Come closer. All right, guys. We I've already removed this. Uh, the ignition signal okay and then we can see very clearly that this one has one two three ignition uh, igniter this one is the six cylinder this one connect to the first the first one the second one connect to the fifth one and then the third and fourth are together. Can you guys see? The third and fourth are together. So this one is very different. Wasted spark configuration than this one. This one is the independent sequential ignition. This one with the built-in igniter. So that means if you give signal, then it will create a spark here. Okay? Alright guys. I'm going to break down this video into a few sections. The first thing is I'm going to show you guys the part for a 2JZ sequential ignition and a wasted spark ignition. And then the second thing I'm going to go through with you guys what are the uh, firing order and then the combustion process of a force stroke engine. So you guys can understand what is sequential ignition and wasted spark and, and then I'm going to go through with you guys what are the advantages of using either wasted spark or the sequential ignition? And last, I'm going to add one more bonus, which is I'm going to show you guys the RB25. I'm using the wasted spark configuration too, right? The first thing is we need to know the firing order for that engine. Okay, I'm going to explain for two uh, types of engine so that it will be easier for you to understand. If you guys uh, know that for most 4-cylinder, the firing order, that means the spark plug that will fire and ignite the uh, fuel and air mixture at this order, the 1st cylinder, 3rd cylinder, 4th cylinder, then 2nd cylinder, then return back, alright, 1, 3, 4, 2, alright, so for 2JZ and most 6-cylinder uh, engines, their firing order is 1, 5, 3, 6, 2, 4, Okay, so this one you guys need to know first so that you guys will understand later what, when I explain when these two uh, concepts combine together then you guys will understand why we go for wasted spark or sequential. Okay, so the next thing is the combustion process of the four stroke engine. Okay, uh, although it, it may be simple but it is a refresher for you guys too, right? So what happens is when the piston is going down, it is the intake stroke. That means the air and the fuel is coming in. Then the second uh, event is the, com the compression event. So the piston moves up and compress the air-fuel mixture here, compress it up here. And then P is power stroke. That means the spark plug will fire around here. Then it will create the combustion and the explosion. And it will push the piston down. Alright, so this one is the power stroke. After that, then it has a lot of exhaust gas. Then the piston will push up and push all the exhaust gas via the exhaust valve. Okay, so you guys clear on this? Alright guys, so I'm going to explain to you guys what happened to this 4 cylinder first it, for the wasted spark uh, because the sequential it is very easy. The computer is just giving independently a signal to the uh, ignition coil or the igniter to spark each 
during the correct timing, during the power stroke. All right, so spark here, spark, spark, spark. But for wasted spark, it is very easy. Wasted spark means it is firing the igniter or the ignition coil both at the same time. One and fourth at the same time, two and three at the same time. Okay, so what happens is it is firing like this. Fire here and fire here at the same time. Then fire here and fire here at the same time. Okay, so what happens is when the when the piston is going up to the top, it is firing the first cylinder and the fourth cylinder at the same time. So what happens is during here it will create the explosion. But during here, it is doing nothing. The spark is doing nothing uh, in terms of uh, giving any explosion here. Okay, so here we call it, it is a wasted spark. So it is literally useless here, firing at the fourth cylinder. Okay, so and then after that, then it will be the one three, it will be here, but it will be firing the second cylinder too. Same thing, the second cylinder is having the exhaust stroke too. Then after that, then one and four together because the, the one, two, three, the third firing event is the fourth cylinder. This one firing too. Then the fourth event, the second cylinder is firing. Second and third is fired together. So you can see it is firing like this. Okay? So you guys, if you guys can understand this, it applies the same thing to the two JZ or any six cylinder engines. Okay, so the igniter for this, uh, let me write here, it is 1 and 6 together, 2 and 5 together, 3 and 4 together. Okay, so what happens is, this one and this one fire together. This one and this one fire together. This one and this one fire together. Can you guys see? So the ECU is giving out signal, or the igniter is giving out signal like this. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, like that. Okay, so if you guys can understand this concept, then it will be easier for me to explain it to you guys why you need wasted spark on the sequential emission. Okay, okay, so it all boils down to two things. One is the parts that you have. Okay, for example, that you have uh, sequential uh, ignition coils, or you have wasted spark coils, or the second thing is if you guys have an igniter but that igniter only has uh, three input and three output. For example, the two JZ, the old motor one JZ, all they are using the uh, wasted spark configuration. Okay, two is your ECU. If you guys have ECU like Electronic E420D, or the lower spec of uh, all the, you know, G4Link, uh, you're not using Storm, right? Then they have four ignition outputs if you guys are using six cylinders, then you may need to use wasted spark configuration because it does not have six ignition output. It only has four. Okay, so you guys have to use the wasted spark configuration because it can only come up with three or four ignition output. Okay, for your six cylinders. But if you guys have like ECU masters black like mine, or you guys have G4 Link Storm and above or MOTEC 130 and above then you guys may be able to uh, link up to your uh, auto ignition coil independently okay guys uh, so i'm going to share with you guys uh, my ECO as you guys probably may know from uh, other videos that i'm using the ECO masters black uh, which uh, James Dean is also using for his 2JZ uh, drift machine formula drift champion and uh, i'm going to show you guys See, this one is my fuse box, my relay. And this one is the EMU black, which is upside down. Right, so this one has the... This one is the silicon hose for the map sensor. And uh, this one has uh, six ignition output. So for 2JZ, this one is perfect. Uh, but... Like I said earlier, that it all depends on the parts that I have also. Alright, although I'm using the ECU Masters Black, uh, that one uh, can support 6 independent 
emission, but uh, I'm using, but I'm reusing the G, uh, the two JZ GE ignition coils. That one is uh, with a wasted spark configuration. This uh, that one they connect one and six together, two and five together, three and four together. All right. So and one more good thing for this uh, ECU Master's Black is uh, that one can. Uh, can support without igniter or with igniter so you just need to specify it in the ECU master's program and then let me explain to you guys the advantages and the disadvantages of using wasted spark and uh, sequential ignition okay for wasted spark it, it is very easy because the wires are lesser okay you can see that one and six are combined together Two and three, two and five combined together, three and four combined together. So and then you are you have a lesser pin in pin out for the ECU two. Okay, the most important advantage of using the sequential ignition is it is firing half of the duty cycle of your waste spark. If you guys can see, the waste spark is firing both at the same time, and it is firing during the useless time. So your spark plug, your ignition coil, your igniter are wearing up faster almost double of the sequential ignition and then the advantage of using sequential ignition is when you are going for high RPM okay, more than uh, 8000 RPM so you guys may need to use sequential ignition because the duty cycle is too high for the igniter so it may cause the igniter to overload, to overheat especially the old igniters that we use from the second hand half shops okay so we may cause the igniter to burn and then also if we are using like very high rpm each of the cylinder firing is better than both firing at the same time it will cause lesser load and lesser wear to your spark plugs too and then especially for us six cylinder we have six spark plugs okay uh, imagine that uh, when one of them uh, is going is having a problem then you may need to you know change all of them oh my god it is quite expensive and uh, when you are using platinum or iridium oh my god okay okay so this one is my rb engine okay so this one is uh, running with this uh, igniter okay this igniter only has three output so and three input so this uh, ECU is giving in three input and the rest is like a uh, positive and uh, ground then the three input will go to this although this one is the indi individual coil this one does not is it's not the built-in uh, igniter so this one requires an igniter okay and then I'm going to show you guys the, the ECU that I'm using all right the ECU that I'm using is the adaptronic 4E420D basic so this one only has a uh, four ignition output, four injector output, as you can see here. Uh, when the car is starting, these four lights will be blinking. The ignition and the injector. This one looks very really cool. <laughs> yeah, but the limited limited output of this uh, ECU makes me go for the wasted spark configuration. And also the uh, igniter is uh, original. So this one, uh, I'm using the original parts. I don't want to modify too much. I don't want to, uh, you know, buy the built-in igniter uh, coils and uh, remove the igni igniter. So that one will cause a bomb. So uh, if you guys can learn something from this video, don't forget to press the like button and share. It. And please subscribe if you guys want to learn more about PJC engine or engine building tips in general, right? See you!